Today I'm making Mississippi pot roast butter noodles in the slow cooker. It's day two of my crock pot slow cooker meals. This is going to be good. So in an eight quart slow cooker, here I'm working with, this is around four pounds of beef chuck roast. I had to get two because they were kind of small, but in all it's close to four pounds. I'm working with a one, this is a one ounce package of Aoju gravy mix. You could use brown gravy mix as well. One package of ranch seasoning mix. There we go. Here I have eight, uh, oops, eight pepperoncini peppers that I sliced going right on top. It has a little bit of, of the liquid, the brining liquid. Okay, so the five ingredient Mississippi pot roast also calls for a stick of butter. I'm going to save this until the end because... I will be adding egg noodles. This is going to be like my one one pot crock pot slow cooker meal. So what I'll do is cook the beef when it renders all its fat, I'll remove the fat, leave the, the gravy that's left in the, the crock pot, and then I will add the butter to the hot egg noodles and mix everything together. Okay, so I am going to cover with a lid, set it to high, and I'm going to let it cook for about four and a half to five hours or until everything is tender. Cook time always varies depending how cold the meat is, the temperature of the meat when you start this process, but five hours should do the trick. So let me put this down. Okay, so I'm gonna actually just keep warm at this point. Oh gosh, this is tender. So I want to, I'm going to remove the meat and it's probably going to fall apart. Let me, oops. I'm going to put it on this baking sheet for now because I want to skim off most of the rendered fat that's on top because I am going to serve this with butter noodles. I'm using egg noodles, but I'm going to add that stick of butter into the noodles with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and parsley. And that's what I'm going to serve this with. But I want to end up with more of the sauce gravy at the bottom and not tons of the uh, rendered fat. So let's get this out. Really? <laughs> let's put this down. Now skim that rendered fat. And I'm just gonna skim as much as I can without getting too much of the sauce and put it right in this bowl. Okay, so I did the best I could and that's as much as I got out. There's probably a little bit left in there, but not much. So now I'm going to add the meat back into the crock pot. And if it breaks apart, that's okay. I'm gonna kind of break it apart and I really probably should have like cut it up, but I think I can do it in the crock pot. There we go. So I want tender chunks of the beef. So I'm just taking my kitchen shears and chopping it up or cutting it up and I'm leaving tender morsels. You can definitely shred it, but I think tender morsels texturally just taste better because I'm going to mix my egg noodles in with the beef, add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley, and I'm making Mississippi pot roast with noodles in the slow cooker. And that's gonna be dinner. And I like to cut some of the stringy pieces, like 
so it's not long pieces of stringy beef. So kitchen shears come in handy. Okay, I'm gonna make my egg noodles, salt the boiling water. One pound of egg noodles going in. Oops. And I'm gonna give this a mix and just cook for, or let it boil for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna drain and add it into my slow cooker. Okay, so my noodles are drained. I'm gonna remove the lid carefully. Okay, and here we have flavorful, <laughs> tender pot roast, Mississippi style pot roast with those pepperoncinis in there. It's just wonderful flavors. Okay, so my egg noodles are drained. I have my chopped Mississippi pot roast. I'm going in with my egg noodles. They kind of sat in the colander too long. I'm adding my stick of butter now because I want these to be kind of like, you know, those butter noodles. And give everything a really good mix. And this is why I skimmed out all of that rendered fat because I knew I was going in with the butter. Okay. This smells amazing already. Going in with Parmesan cheese. This is like a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And fresh chopped parsley. Okay, you'll want to give this a really good mix, give it a taste, and serve. This is the dish. This is Mississippi pot roast, noodles or with noodles in the slow cooker. And this is day two of my slow cooker meal series. I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. I already added cracked black pepper, some parsley, and it's time to dig in. So good. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.